Welcome to the homework for lesson, uh, lesson 17 in third grade in module one. Do your name first. Make sure you get in there before you forget it. You won't remember it later. Uh, number one, use the array to complete the related equations. So on this page we have lots of four facts, more and more fours. We're doing fours over and over again until we know them all. This is one row of bugs. One row of four is four bugs, and then four total bugs divided by four in row is, is one row. Uh, two times four is eight, and so eight divided by four is two. And now we have the third row, so three rows of four is twelve. Twelve rows, twelve bugs, I mean, divided by four, is 3. So 3, 4, and 12, it's good to know. We'll keep going here. Fourth row, 4, 4 is 16. 16 is our dividend. Our divisor is 4. And we're missing 4 here. That's the relationship between multiplication and division. You're going to have the two factors. They're going to be your divisor and your quotient necessarily in the same order, but your product and your dividend are always going to be in the same place, unless you write the equations backwards. So here we have row 5, and there's 4 in each row. So 20, when we're dividing by 4s here, our quotient is 5. And now we have our 6th row, 4 in each row is 24, we're dividing by 4 again, and we have 6 six rows. Now we have seven rows, and now we have to figure out what the product is. Count up four more. 28. And that's our product, so it's going to be our dividend. 28 divided by 4, 7. And then we have row 8. That eight times 4 is 32. Here's our 32 divided by 4 is going to be 8 is what's left. Ninth row, four in each row, 36. So that's our dividend divided by four, because we can do dividing by four, dividing by four, and multiplying by four. That's going to be nine. And then 10 fours is 40. 40 bugs divided by four in each row is 10 rows. The teacher puts 32 students into groups of four. How many groups does she make? Draw and label a tape diagram to solve. So we have groups of four, right? But we don't know how many groups, right? So uh, draw the tape. And we know there's going to be four. students who are white students and we do know there are 32 kids 32 kids but we don't know we have to find out how many groups and so we have 32 divided by four going to give us the number of groups, and that's going to be 8. And you could look this up, I mean, we're going to have, we put, you draw the 4s here, or you just write the number 4 right in there. And we extend our answer. There are You don't have to fill out the whole tape diagram, but you do have to have this much of it, and you have 
to have this equation and you have to have a statement for your answer. You have to have those things. Uh, the store clerk arranges 24 toothbrushes into four equal rows. How many toothbrushes are in each row? So we know that there are, here's our tape diagram. You know there's four equal rows, so four equal rows. We don't know how many toothbrushes. But we do know from beginning to end here that there's a total of twenty-four. page 24 divided by 4 it's one of these here it is it's 6 there are 6 6 toothbrushes And our last one. An art teacher has 40 paintbrushes. She divides them equally among her four students. She finds eight more brushes and divides these equally among the students as well. How many brushes does each student receive? So first she gives everybody... Well, uh, so we, the number of students doesn't change, right? There's always going to be four students. So we know how many students there are. We start out with 40 paintbrushes, and then she finds eight more. So she 40, and she finds eight more. That's 48, right? So we know that there are 48. And we know that there are four students. But what we don't know is how many brushes every student gets. So we're going to take our 48 paint brushes divide them equally among the four students. And you'll see if you go back, 48 divided by 4 on this first page, do we have it? We didn't get that high up, did we? <clears throat> we could figure it out like this. The first 40 Divide those among the four students, and that was 10. That's up there. And then she had the eight more. Divide those among the four students, and that was two more. So now we just add, if they got 10 from the first 40, and then two more from the next eight, that adds up to 12. using some of the distributed property here. And so that's how you can figure it out. You could also just draw the paintbrushes, right? But it's a lot of paintbrushes to draw and fit in those boxes.